I like that. Let's get, I'm gonna shoot you. Step behind that. Okay, let's see the ring. Jasmine, that is a very beautiful ring. And how old is the ring? Five years. Five years. And what state were you in when you received this ring? Florida. Florida, asked a lady a couple weeks ago, she says, I was in a drunk state. <laughs> <laughs> so Jasmine, what we're gonna do, um, if you get nervous during the trick, ring the bell and I will stop the trick, okay? So what we're gonna do, we're gonna see if Jasmine's ring is real. I'm gonna take this nutcracker okay. and I'm gonna squeeze it. If you don't want me to do it, just ring the bell and we'll do it differently. Please don't break my ring. I, I won't, no, if you ring the bell, I won't do it. Well, I trust you to not break my ring. Mm. See, this is what they do. <laughs> you missed the biggest laugh in the whole entire show Sorry. by not ringing the bell. Okay, so I want you to put your hands up. Okay. Just ring the bell. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You were making me nervous, but I was going to try to hold on to it. Okay, so I'm sure it's real. I want you to put your hands up, Jasmine, so everyone can see there's nothing in your hand. I'm going to put Jasmine's ring in the bag of invincibility. The bag of invincibility is a bag that no matter what goes inside cannot be damaged. Jasmine's ring inside. Keep them up high. Nothing in your hands, nothing in my hands. I got something special here, Jasmine. You'll appreciate this. First try. Watch. First try. Oh, nuts. Who <laughs> <laughs> got snacks? <laughs> no one else got snacks. A lot of people think, oh, that's a fake hammer. I prove it's a real hammer by throwing it out in the crowd. Oh, oh, <laughs> good, good catch. <laughs> Stand up, sir. Stand up. And what's your name? Adam. Adam, what I did, took a real hammer, put it in a box, put out a fake camera, threw it out in the crowd. It's called misdirection. Everybody was focused on the fake camera going through the crowd. Nobody was focused on me doing the magic trick. Or maybe the magic trick was done before Jasmine stepped up here. I was walking through the crowd, looking at rings. I leaned over to, to see if you had a ring. I want you to share when there's nothing in your left hand. I want you to put your hand in your left shorts pocket behind your phone and you will see Jasmine's ring what? in your pocket. No. Behind your phone. Behind my phone? Yeah. Is it not in there? Not this pocket. That's, it's not in there? Yeah. That would have been amazing. That would, right? <laughs> 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 the show would have been worth 11. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> Football. Did I influence you to say football? No. Did I influence you to choose 63 or 83? No. Did I influence you to choose 125 or whatever you chose? No. Okay. Just, just random. Did I influence anybody else to not wear your rings or to only wear Super Bowl rings? <laughs> no. <laughs> no. <laughs> we usually have a lot more options, but everybody says, oh, we're fancy rich. <laughs> I have the whole jewelry store. I mean, but there's just all, everything happened for a reason. And before any of you got here, there was a football that he, he said, there's a football sitting over here. The whole show. What if Jasmine's ring was inside that football? Show them there. Pull your hands up. Nothing in your hands. Nerf football. And inside this Nerf football that was sitting over there, the entire show. It's not Jasmine's ring. It's an egg. But what if it is inside the egg? But it's not. It's not. It's a. It's a walnut in there. You remember when I took the ring, put it in the bag, hit the bag, the ring disappeared. Walnuts appeared in there. Inside this walnut that was inside of an egg, inside of a football over there, the entire show. Put the football down. I want you to come up here so you're close to me so we can see. I don't have any sleeves, nothing up my sleeves, and inside this walnut. <clears throat> Inside that walnut. <laughs> it's a ring. That was awesome. That was so cool.
gave me the opportunity to quit my daytime job in June of 2018. I won the Florida Magician of the Year with that trip. I'm sure that's your ring. And it opened up a bunch of doors for me. It's still opening up doors for me. So that's a trip I do in every single show. Wow. Oh, awesome.